Hi guys, welcome to this um, Alkinlix B Plasma setup. There is a question on the forum about MailSpring an application and it's not working on Plasma. So what we do in Alkinlix is invest time to educate you, to, to help you. And not that I can install every th single thing out there, but uh, MailSpring sounds like a good application. So let's install it and see what's happening. So it's all it's always about updates and always you see here as well, I want to give you the message Arch Linux is not what you think it is. It's coming from a Debian package, right? So it is not pure Arch. Anyway, it's a Linux uh, importation from Debian here. And we download everything, we repackage everything and suddenly it becomes an Arch Linux or an Arch Linux package and it's called MailSpring. So I had no issues um, installing it, but maybe I'll have issues updating it or in uh, running it, right? But the thing is, with all these applications, they are running on something. They are um, depending on packages. And that's the problem always, right? Updates come along. Why? Because people are developing and there are always intermediary things where, where uh, things can go wrong. But it seems to me, I am not going to log in anything. I'll, I'll do it later after the video. But um, it seems that everything is working. The only thing I can um, also point out is PAMIC is a very useful application. So I better type update, I think. Updates is, uh, nope, <laughs> that's not PAMIC. Um, update, this one, I think, the green, the brown one is PAMIC. And you can always have a look at mail spring or any other package, right? Mail spring and a beautiful fast maintained fork of Nihilus mail by one of the original authors. Okay, so we better take a look at this here, get mail spring and learn about this application that I've never installed later on. Um, but dependencies, that's what I wanted to show you guys. If any of these things have been updated and it relies on it, the package needs to be updated or rebuilt maybe as well. And um, he mentioned something about a keyring not being there. So that's the GNOME keyring that you might be missing, but we're on Plasma. So there's another keyring, or maybe it has not been developed really for Plasma and it, it's, it's, it has an issue with gearing. So it's um, figure it out. And then later on, maybe go inside the details, the files, what's, what's where, what happens to my machine. This is a very useful tool. You have a binary, an application executable, if you wish, .exe in Windows, right? And some data, share app data here. And so it goes on with an application, a desktop file. So we have something in here. If we type mail, right? We, that's this link, link here, this, this line here causes it to appear there. So um, let's cl close all these things here. Uh -huh. And we have copyright things, icons there, mail spring and the packages, all the languages are here, the locales and so on. Right, so that's um, me installing MailSpring. Um, I'm just gonna read what this is all about. Say hello to MailSpring, but everything seems to work fine. I will uh, log in and see if I get any issues with my keys. All right, just 